All right. Uh, Max, you two were telling me before pod started, you watched this game yesterday, Sunday afternoon. Uh, the Denver Nuggets, who were on a seven-game winning streak, or eight-game winning streak, pardon me, fall to the Boston Celtics. And uh, you had some takeaways from this game that you wanted to bring to the table. Yeah, I mean, eyes on Denver Nuggets after what you were saying Friday about them and what was going well. And Jokic, just always such a fun player to watch. So not a lot going on Sunday afternoon. I thought I'd throw it on. And that's what I thought I was seeing early in that third quarter. Uh, Jokic really picked it up and had some magical passing plays as per the standard by him at this point, I guess. And um, the Denver coach feeling pretty comfortable (laughs) with that third quarter wrapping up, like something around a minute 30 left. They're up by double digits, decides to give Jokic a little break before they close and uh, runs the bench. And the Celtics had Kemba Walker and Jalen Brown out there against the Nuggets bench and really made them pay in that miss match went on a 9-0 and run to close out that last minute something in the third quarter um brutal brutal play right at the end of the third quarter where the nuggets looking for that last second shot tried something kind of lazy and uh Kemba just snatched like one of those point guard block steals and drove it all the way up for a and one three-point play And one of the Nuggets players, Brown, uh, he was consistently matched up against Langford. And either Brown doesn't know how to play basketball and is just a pure athlete, or Langford flops on everything because there were Brown, Langford drew three fouls off of uh, Brown. I think two offensive, one defensive. But just every time you had Brown, like throwing a bit of an elbow, pushing a little body, something you see all the time, and Langford just falling off him and the refs blowing it. Then that momentum kept going at the start of the fourth, and it was kind of just a reminder that at this, the pinnacle, the highest level of sports, like it doesn't take much, and you have to play so well even when you're up in games that should be put away because a minute, like, how often are you worried about like one minute and a bit left in a quarter and like things totally going sideways, but that's exactly what happened. Um, I mean, Michael Porter Jr. I think one of your favorite players was having some tough three point making Jokic. He had two, like you can't ask for much better attempts, like from corner threes didn't get them. Mm -hmm. And then some, poor decision making when the Nuggets starters do come back in I think they were already down at that point but like Porter Jr who was something like one for six one for seven at that point tried like a in transition 180 like step back deep three which was just kind of what are you doing like time and place for those shots especially when you're not making threes and Jokic that passing magic just dissipated and Celtics kicked it into a slightly higher gear on defense, a uh, little aggression. You don't call it a four check. I don't know what you call it. And saw Jokic pick up another triple double, but it was kind of just a, it ended up being a 31 and three run by the Celtics to close out a double digit deficit and take their own, which I mean, it's just one game, but it did. I was thinking about what you're saying about like the depth of the Nuggets being a weakness. Maybe not something we see come playoff time, but interesting way to see the winning streak snapped. Yeah, you it, you see it though. Like it's huge when they didn't have Jamal Murray. It, yes. As soon as he's not in that game, where is your clutch shot making coming from? Jokic usually is a great shot creator. The Boston Celtics figured out a way to really get in his head and were really blitzing him whenever he caught the ball in the post. And yeah, he he had difficulty creating good shots in that game. They matched uh, Tatum up on him in the fourth Mm -hmm. quarter. And in the third quarter, it had been Williams, who Jokic wasn't having a great night making shots. Like he had a, he was able, I mean, seven foot, those are. (laughs) you're dropping the ball in the basket basically anywhere within the paint. So when he was able to get close, like he had this hilarious floater attempt, he was able to draw some fouls at mid range and get his offense going that way. But Williams was biting on like every three point 
pump fake he put up and Tatum just didn't bite and there was one play that stood out where Tatum just at the mid-range played like tough nose defense and Jokic was just looking to like draw contact and get the foul call and the refs didn't give it to him and he gave up after that play really I think he came off onto the bench like a minute or two after that but I mean I you know how I feel about fouls and the NBA so it was just uh I mean great defense from Tatum to kind of cinch it or close it on Jokic and take the only like clutch option the Nuggets had at that point away I think yeah and beyond this game I would say this is big as a momentum builder for the Celtics, because this is a tough Western Conference team that was in a groove, had a big lead, and this Celtics team has been consistently called mentally weak this season, and a team that actually has struggled finding its identity. Um, I don't know what the like issue might be or where there's difficulties, uh, some locker room stuff that has possibly trickled out into the media, but this was a big win for them to figure out how to defend a high caliber offensive team and uh, move the ball a little bit more and have contributions from guys that wasn't just Tatum and Brown in isolation situations. And so it's a big win for Boston. They need to really make sure they're staying out of those playing games and moving up to avoid those first round matchups with uh, those top three seeds. Cause those are the, t- the class of the Eastern conference and, uh, yeah, it, it could we could be headed towards Boston starting to pick up momentum near the end of the season. They've made three of the last four Eastern Conference finals. They are a team with playoff pedigree, uh, have struggled in the regular season, but you can't count them out when you've got two guys who could be the best guys in a series at any given point. So a big, hopefully, momentum builder for the Celtics. Uh, and maybe they can keep that going. We shall see. It's been an on and off ride for them. all righty we have reached the end of our basketball segment but now it is time for me to uh share my nba top shot pack opening we're going to take a quick break and then come back uh with everything set up and ready to roll 